Right. Before you, you will see a, a basic piece of code which will work when both the A and B buttons are pressed. Now, normally, we've well, previously we've looked at if we press a button on the Wii Remote, we can emulate key press. But you'll see that here we have two sim. We have a symbol. Uh, we've got it in twice actually. It's the and symbol, and we've got that in twice. This basically means that when the A button and the B button on the Wii Remote are pressed, then the keyboard button, in this case A, will also be pressed. I've got the macro running at the moment, and I'll show you. Just delete this. If I press A, nothing happens. If I press B, nothing happens. If I press them together, there you go, you can see A is pressed on the screen. So that's using the AND statement. And if we wanted, we could put another AND in. Let's have a look. Oops, let me stop the, macro, the code running. And we mote one dot down. So when both the A button, the B button, and the down button are pressed, so A, B, and then down, there we go, you can see it's typing it out quite nicely for us. But that will only work when all three buttons are pressed. Now let's have a look at an R statement. I could make the I could change the script and go we mote one dot A we mote one dot B. Now this down slash, it's normally to the left of Z on the keyboard. Uh, you put two of them in and it means an R statement. So basically the keyboard dot A will be pressed. So the A button on the keyboard will be pressed when both the A button or the B button are pressed on the Wii remote. So either, it doesn't matter which one. So if I run this code, I press A and I press B, they both do the same thing. That is and or statement. Now we can actually mix and and then an or statement in one line. Let's say we want the Wii Remote dot A button and the B button to be pressed. Or the Wii Remote one dot B button. Now in this case this code won't work. Watch if I run it, it will come up with an error you can see. It says you need to put brackets in. And that is to distinguish which statements we want to work. This whole statement here is one statement. So I'm going to this one here because it's the A button and the B button. That's one statement together. This statement on its own is just one. We're just checking to see if B is pressed. But because we're checking here that A and B are pressed, we need a bracket around it. And now if I run this macro, um, sorry, the script, you'll see that if I press B on its own, it will work, and that's because of this part here, R, B. But for, in order for it to work, we need to press A and B, and that also works. But I'm just going to change that to down to prove this. Down. That'll be better. So if I press A and down on the Wii remote, you can see it, press, it types out A, and if I press B, it types out A. So that's really it to you for the use of R and and in Glove Pie.